rapidly growing 21st century, an efficient renewable source of energy is necessary to resolve our energy crisis. Wind power is a rapidly developing and popular form of renewable energy with enormous potential. According to America's Wind Energy Association, wind power has the potential to produce 10 times America's electricity consumption. Currently, wind power only produces 4% of America's energy. Found wind power was unable to reach its full potential due to several limitations. For example, horizontal axis wind turbines are inapplicable in urban areas due to high space requirements, safety concerns, and noise pollution, and they require high wind speeds of 5 meters per second to even operate. These limitations reduce wind power's application potential to 50% of the United States. We need to resolve these limitations and make wind power an efficient and globally applicable energy source. Electricity is the ability of certain materials to generate an electrical charge when applied with direct or indirect mechanical stress. I decided to apply piezoelectricity to wind power to resolve these limitations. For the standards, I built my prototype with. I use these materials. Built several different prototypes. The final one is showcased below. My third prototype indirectly induces pressure onto a piezoelectric material. This is how it works. First, a foam oscillator vibrates due to the light mechanical pressure of the wind. This triggers the movement of a connected cardstock lever, which further pressurizes the connected PVDF strip, causing it to generate electricity. I connected 12 of these devices in a combination of a series and parallel circuit to increase both voltage and current using copper tape. I constructed my device in a way that it would generate electricity irrespective of wind direction. I also wanted it to be directly applicable in our environment. The prototype was successful generating 9 volts and 15 milliamperes when applied with 2.5 meters per second wind. Overall, piezoelectric wind energy harvesting devices have a great potential in the fields of nanoelectronics, low consumption electrical modules, and emergency situations. I truly believe these can make the world a greener place. My name is Monica Mindu and thanks for watching.